Hi guys, the cheapest and most safest coins on the whole internet. Check out MuleFactory.com and use the code ONFEEV at checkout for a discount. They have a 100% safe comfort trade and they also do lots of different deals with coins and also different players as you can see down below. Check them out, there's a link in the description. Hey guys, welcome on Earth, so welcome to a brand new video guys. Today I'm going to be showing you a video of how to trade with 100,000 coins or less. There's going to be a few different filters in here guys just to help you obviously make some coins, get yourselves up maybe a little bit higher because obviously 100k isn't really a lot to have at this point in the game. I've currently got 3.3 mil but I've got quite a few things selling here and obviously we do have the team as well which is all ready for me to have a meltdown in weekend league with. Um, I didn't record my weekend rewards this week, but I did get Malin and Daka, which were crap. But yeah, we're going to start in the video now, guys. Here we go. So the first one you can do here is um, the Bolivia filter. This is a brand new one that's just recently came to light. So you can see here the cheapest Bolivia players are around 8k. So there's loads of different players here, 9.5. For some of them, like if you go down to 8.5, there's nothing. 9.3, there's nothing. If you get to 8k, you can make it 1k a card. It's nothing special, but... As obviously I'm going to show you the worst like couple of methods first. These are just ones for you guys that are lazy basically and can't be asked to do normal trading. So you want to just obviously sit here and search for basically what I would say is just snipes basically is the way to say it. So you basically snipe using this one first of all, the Bolivia. 8k by now, you'd want to sit here and do it. It just depends how long it keeps going. But there you go, 3.2k. There we go, that is perfect. Um, right there. That's actually like 13k. We're going to list them up for... Let's say 9, let's say 10k. We'll go, actually, we'll go a little bit less because 9.3. We'll go 9.6. So that's 6k profit down that first filter. So that sort of gets you the gist of that. We don't really need to do it anymore. Look, that's literally, you guys know the score now. If you look at like 10k, he's literally going to be the cheapest. He's going to be the cheapest card. He's literally 10k a card now, which is really good. So that's the first one. The second method is for you guys that can be able to do a bit of trading, but don't want to do too much. So you put in special and then. Um, shadow and go to just like 15k in here so like that and you search on the market and you skip past all these um there's actually nothing up right now because of the SBC but you can normally get some good informed deals obviously there's nothing up so what you can do instead is now is just go like to team of the week here and then go to I think it's about 35k maybe even more now here oh my god they're at 45k now then just check some of these because you occasionally get like this Kunde here I don't know what he goes for I'm gonna open footbin really fast and just check him he might have a max of 45k but if not we are gonna go buy him so we check Jules Kunde here and his maximum is 45k so you don't want to buy him but like it's players like this that are basically the sort of cards you want to buy because people list them up cheap you just check again 45 will be this guy's max as well. It's not well. So you've probably just went for 47, but it's no profit in that. So obviously you want to leave it. Then go to 48 and a half and just see if anything's lurking around this sort of price that's good. And obviously if you want to go even higher, like 67k, something like that, you can sometimes filter out some good deals at like the 50th minute, 52nd minute, something like that. Like if you start checking here for some of these, like Wilson, this guy might usually be like 65k. Obviously it's not a deal. You don't want to be trading with fluctuations at this point with this amount of coins. You want to be getting deals to sell quickly. Like obviously there's probably deals here that I'm missing that can sell on a fluctuation, but realistically you don't want to be doing that with this amount of coins. You want to be building up the coins first of all and getting yourself a half decent amount before you start trading with the cheaper, like obviously the more expensive stuff like that. So it's obviously sold there. That's not a deal. And um, to maximum, maybe a deal, but it's expensive again. Now, there's a lot of these that are expensive, that's the problem. Like this Valverde here, 64.5k. You might want to sell them for like 70, 71 over like an hour or so, but you don't want to be waiting that long. That is the key here. So then you go back out, you put in 150 again, and you search again. So this is just basically, again, back to the 59th minute now, because obviously you've checked through the rest. You don't want to be looking at the same ones again. So the poll here at 50k again, it's probably a 58 sell overnight, but. Not something you want right now. That's the second method, guys. And the final method for this is going to be a little method that is quite common. Again, it's another one of these sort of methods with, like, basically, if you're going to do this, guys, you want to be doing the Bolivia one out of the two. So Finland here, these players are currently going for about 7.2k if they're silver. So there's two ways of doing this. You can go silver, bronze, gold, all that crap. and look at them about eight. Well, they're even more now. Okay, they're literally extinct. They're like 10k. So you can do it that way, or you can go to bronze and do it that way. Like, literally go like this. See, the bronzes are like 9k as well. 9.5, 9.7, like that. Or you can just put in any and go to like 2k, 1.5k, something like that, and just see what's going on here. So, 
Look, at 1.8k, there's a load of this guy. So you can literally go to like 1.2, then just sit 1.3, and you will get lucky, guys. There are times where silvers and bronzes will come up. So it's one of them. You can either sit and flick between bronze and silver, but obviously here you can get a few little coin deals on gold, a few like 400, 500 coin profits, obviously nothing special. Or obviously you can go across to the bigger profits and risk it. And we see here guys as well, this Bolivia player has sold for 9.6k, which is very nice profit, um, which is really, really good. Hey guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you're new and I'll see you all.